Hi, I'm Will Bishop and I'm the writer. I'm Sam and I'm playing Rook. I'm Stuart and I'm playing Barney. I'm Stan and I'm the director. Um, the idea came about a few years ago when watching series like Black Mirror, Ex Machina, these stories that deal with reality to a certain extent with one part of reality that's slightly altered. I took the story to Will, who is one of my favourite writers. He's turned a story into a really eloquent script filled with dialogue that has so much going on underneath and isn't too preachy about what it's about. We ask the questions without trying to answer them, I think. Rook is about two guys who wake up in a prison cell with no idea how they got there. Over the course of the film, they play a bunch of board games, and I can't really say it any more than that. It's sort of a mystery. It's sort of a Can I say that? No. No. <laughs> no. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. That's all I can say. What it's about thematically, for me, it's about love, it's about appreciating what's in front of you, it's about how we're always dreaming of other places. And it's got sort of a sci-fi bent, and sci-fi always presents a really juicy way of talking about um, very traditional, modern themes, but in sort of... But in a way... Mm. Wait, I'm going to think of it. Uh, Sci-Fi presents a way of talking about modern problems with... It's, it's, it's sort of um, Sci-Fi uh, using... Um, uh, yeah. Mm, wait, I'm going to, I'm going to think. It's going to, it's going to blow all of your minds. Yeah, it's going to be a piece of um, Okay, I'll just talk about our influences from that. We looked at a bunch of films like Ex Machina and you know series like Black Mirror, these sorts of sci-fi dark things that talk about social issues of our time. And I love sci-fi because it presents ways to talk about modern problems using these metaphors of great technology or like conspiracy or like these kind of dark things happening with no ways of explaining them. And you don't have to explain them because they're sci-fi. I think it's a really cool opportunity to be able to make a film with your mates. As actors, a lot of the time we get given scripts and we do our bit and we leave. Whereas in this process, we feel like we're kind of involved in it as a whole. Just chatting about how we can amend dialogue, amend elements of the story. I think that's really exciting for, for us as young actors to be able to have that opportunity. And you need to have that opportunity through investment because it's kind of impossible without some form of, of financial backing. Yeah, definitely. Like, obviously not all the time, but, but as actors there, there is a certain lack of agency mm. and whether that is coming up against uh, barriers or walls in order to get to jobs or in order to get, you know, wherever you're meaning to get to, it's equally that sort of, like you say, that creative collaboration. If you're lucky enough to have in professional work, then it's marvellous, you know, but, but making something with your mates and, and creating a story and seeing every aspect of it and learning about it, you know, actors, crew, I mean, that's, that's probably what we do it for, you know, mm, definitely. so, but it's obviously just not, not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> so we met at drama school as four lads who sort of came together over a love for film and spending our evenings down at the BFI on the South Bank, like three pound student tickets, or just watching whatever films we could get our hands on, picking them apart, discussing our favorite bits, arguing over different bits. And then the next natural step was, how can we start to do this? And of course our initial instinct is that it's an industry that's sort of run by money, and how are we meant to even get our foot in the door? And so we, we did our research, we started reading about, and one of the main stories that stuck with us was a story about Wes Anderson, who we all love as, as filmmakers. And the main story was about how he made a short film when he was at uh, school with one of his mates. And they turned that short film into a feature film, which is what we're hoping to do with this story. It kickstarted both their careers because it was Wes Anderson's first film, which was called Bottle Rocket. And the lead in that was his friend from school who was Owen Wilson and they went on now obviously to have huge careers and so we're not suggesting that you're going to be investing in the next 
um, you know, big blockbuster film, but we are suggesting that you'll be making an investment towards giving a platform to young artists and creatives to turn a script which we feel is really tight and really solid and something we're really proud of. And we felt that like we've covered the creative side as much as we can. And we're now just trying to bridge that gap between lads with a dream of making a movie into reality. And that's where I think um, generous people pledging comes in. And so just we hope that we get pledges from people that love cinema and are really interested in helping young creatives fulfill at least the dream of creating a film and then also with the potential of kickstarting a whole career. So any pledge towards this film is really appreciated and we thank you very much.